Hello everyone, this is Aziz once again and I hope you are all doing great. Uh, Today's video I will specially request for the students like if you are in school, college, university, especially I know some of you have been learning English language and literature. I will request for you specially request for the class like to special focus on the class because I am actually I'm working on some words that most of the students very confidently pronounce wrong. So uh, let's start as you can see the words on the board. Let's start with the very first now, the first one. Okay, I've, I've, I've already named that as you can see written on the board. Words most of us pronounce, I would say, confidently wrong most of the time. Let's start with the first one. As you see that written, sometimes some of us pronounce this pronunciation, but this is pronunciation. As if you can if you divide them into four syllables like pro and then nun and then ca and then shun there you go and you pronounce it pronunciation pronunciation well moving on to the next one i find 99 person students they pronounce these two words wrong the first one goes says now this is the correct pronunciation says says now most of us we pronounce it he says which is wrong he says now when i say say for example i say you shouldn't do that so i say but when you have s after third person singular that should be pronounced he says he says he never does it so he says but i say at the same way this is going to be said he said to me he wouldn't do that again some of us pronounce it said so that is said the way you write this one you see sad he's very sad the same pronunciation you're going to make up here so that's going to be said he said to me he would never ever do that so focus on them too very important for you guys number three now this is sometimes in today's time i find some of that they pronounce this word like often now some of us we completely say like american people pronounce this often this is definitely not that all american people pronounce this often often if you say often this has still been an unofficial pronunciation officially you got to pronounce it often so officially yes if i talk about british english british accent that should be often yes i don't deny that some people america they pronounce it often Ten, but yes this is still very unofficial so i would strongly reckon that you use that you pronounce that often and rather you don't pronounce these t so that's going to be often okay women which is a plural number of women now singular w o m a n this is woman and when you consider it's plural this is going to be women so focus on that women well next one the reason i put this in here sometimes we pronounce this vehicle that should be v so v this is going to be pronounced v so that would be vehicle that would be vehicle okay next one genre some of you might find it a little unusual word yes it is i would say but this is that means actually genre means different type or different types now for example she sings in different genre for example she sings classical music very good she sings classical good she sings folk good she sings semi-classical good modern songs good so she can sing in different genre if you focus i'm trying to get this sound out like Z, z, genre so this is going to be genre okay interesting so that's the most interesting thing is most of us interestingly pronounce this word wrong interesting now here i'll make that quite easier for you this is going to be you see that enter you just get this e off and you get the right pronunciation that should be interesting so from T to right away, you glide on to R. So that should be sounding interesting. You know, he is a very interesting person. 
Moving on to the next one. Most of us pronounce this hotel, hotel. That should be hotel. So what you do, that would be two syllables, but you need to put a little more stress on tell, but you have to prolong that part. So that should be hotel. I went to Peninsula Hotel this morning. So that should be hotel. Moving on to the next one. It's quite similar to this word, interesting restaurant. So you pronounce it restaurant. See if I get rid of these two alphabets, A, A and U. There you go. You get the correct pronunciation, restaurant. So there is nothing like restaurant, restaurant or whatever different stuff you say. That should be restaurant. So that should be restaurant. Let's go to a restaurant to eat something. Well, number 10, that's also you'll find it very interesting. Pronunciation, we pronounce it breakfast, breakfast. To be honest, this is break. See, one is break and the other break. Break, break. I'm not saying that is break, but break. See, if you divide that into two syllables, this is going to be like this. Look, B, it's B, R, E, K. Consider that one syllable and then F, A, S, T. So that should be breakfast, breakfast. I took omelet and bread in today's breakfast, breakfast. Okay, moving on to the next one. Look at that very common word. Again, we use it every single day. This is not chocolate. So again, you get that divided into two syllables. So that should be, one should be chalk and then let. It's very simple. You leave that simple, chalk, let. Chalk, let, not chocolate. Chalk, let. Okay, here, you see, after you pay a bill properly like out of your credit card and you are provided a receipt, you are provided a receipt by the shopkeeper. Most of us do pronounce this word P and rather we put stress on that. We say like receipt, so no P in it. So that should be receipt, no P. You know, I paid the bill and I was provided a receipt by the shopkeeper. Receipt, no P in it. Okay. Next one, you would find that very, very amazing. I'll tell you what, most of us, I would say 100% of us unknowingly pronounce this singer. He is a great singer. Now, interestingly, both in British and American English, there wouldn't be any G. So you need to sound this without G. So you got to sound this singer. Singer. So there isn't any G. Well, he is a great singer. Mr. Michael Jackson was a great singer. So no G. Okay, coming up to the next one, which is quite similar to this one, singer. Again, we call this plumber most of the time, but this is, you don't need to pronounce B both in American and British English. So that should be sounding plumber. No B. See, don't get this sound B off the mouth. See, plumber, plumber, singer, plumber. Okay, thank you very much. Next, Wednesday. Sometimes some of us, we use this D. We pronounce this D when we pronounce that word. But that should be Wednesday. I'll write that for you. It should be like this. W E N S Wens. I, I, I would write rather Z. Wens and then day D E I. You make sure you end it up like day. So that's Wens day. No D in there at all. Wens day. Wens day. Okay. This one mischievous. In a sense, we say like very very naughty. Some of us pronounce this mischievous. So that wouldn't be. It would be miss. Chivas, I'll write that for you like miss and then chi and then vas. So this is how you got to pronounce that. So you need to pronounce that miss chivas. Okay, 
moving on to the next one tuition which is very very interesting in american accent that should be pronounced tuition tuition so if you follow me i'm using this alphabet w i use it like this this is american two we shun this is how american people sound like to reach and to make sure you bring in that w and you pronounce that what he went to to vision he went to to vision now in british english this is going to be just you add one i on to that so to we shun there you go so in british english you pronounce that tuition in american english you pronounce that tuition so he went to he went to tuition he went to tuition right i hope you get that next one zoology yes a good number of students in our country they get to universities and they study this subject itself like zoology but they pronounce this subject wrong that is nothing like zoology english in english that should be look i write that for you that should be zoo logy that should be zoo logy so i studied zoology in my honors okay next one not develop but develop d and then say ve and then lop now british people pronounce this develop and americans pronounce this develop so if you stick to british i reckon that you say you pronounce it develop okay last one but not the least i'm sure i find it very interesting he is very famous see when you use that adjective famous we pronounce it this way like he's very famous but opposite to that is this one which is not in famous but in famous so famous but opposite to that in famous no but in famous he is very famous but his brother is very in famous right guys actually it took me quite some time to collect these words like often mispronounced in the societies i would reckon you start working on them and you would get your english more standard for sure now about these ones any pronunciation still you feel like got any confusion make sure you pass comments below and i will try my level best to get back to you guys on that thank you very much and don't forget to stay with me all the time thank you for all the love and affection you showed to me so far thanks a lot bye bye